Okay, Taylor, one of the things that we hear about as flatlanders is there's three pieces of critical equipment before you go riding into the mountains, and that's your beacon, your shovel, and your probe. Talk to me about those today. Well, before we'd go ride any day, the first thing you want to do is check your equipment and make sure everybody has it and has at least a simple understanding of how to use it. So we go over, start in the morning with a beacon check. Everybody puts on their beacons, turn them on. What do you have for battery life? If the batteries are below 60%, rule of thumb is change it. You can use them in your headlamps or something else. You don't need to throw away your batteries. Then make sure everybody's beacons are work. So you turn them on. I'm going to check the group and then somebody's going to check me and then we can go out and ride. Okay. In the event something were to happen, let's say worst case scenario, we get into a slide situation. Yeah. What's the next steps? First thing is everybody's going to get away from any potential overhead hazards. So anything else that could potentially slide. Then what should have been done in the beginning is a group leader would have been established. The group leader is going to make sure that everybody's beacons are on search. So you're not trying to find somebody else in your situation. Then he's going to delegate. Somebody's going to look, call for help and everybody else is going to go search. So he's going to turn his beacon on to search and he'll actually be looking for people, identifying how many people are missing is a big one. He'll start looking. Somebody else will run with a probe behind him and the rest of the group will have shovels. Once you find the person, you get down to like small numbers, like one meter, one and a half meters, two meters in there. You start looking, then you're going to slow down. You're going to do what's called your find search. You're going to get really low to the ground to make sure you're getting a very accurate reading. Numbers get lower, lower, lower. As soon as they get higher, you draw a line. You come back to where the numbers are the lowest. You head the other way, they start climbing, you draw a line. Then you're going to do it kind of in a cross pattern. Once you've got your line, dead center is where you're going to probe. And then you probe down, out, down, out, within kind of like six inches around there until you hit the person. Once you've hit them, you leave the probe in and then you dig the person out. And generally I would be the person or whoever would be, there would be somebody following behind with a shovel. Yes. If there's more than one person buried, I'm going to go with beacon. Somebody else is going to follow me with a probe or two people, right? Depending on how big the group is and the rest of the people will dig. So you'll find one. This is where they'll, somebody also probe. You go find the next person. You'll probe them usually. But yeah, it's all about delegating tasks and using everybody as efficiently as possible to dig this person out as quickly as possible. 